easier was to scam over 100 complete strangers. One of them could have been you. A former con man is going to tell you how to protect yourself from rip-off artists. When we're... You think you're too street smart to get scammed. Well, don't be too sure, baby. We tried a little experience, experiment with our audience, and we got over a hundred gullible folks to give us their credit cards. <laughs> Not just their credit card numbers, their actual physical credit cards. You would not believe how easy it is to fall for a con artist scam. And Brett Champion, a reformed con artist and the author of America's Guide to Fraud Prevention, is going to let you in on ripoffs and dishonest schemes. And baby, there are plenty of them out there. Please welcome Brett Champion. Thank you for coming and being with us. Thank you very much. As I'm glad I met you now <laughs> than before in your former life. Now, what makes you an expert on scams? Well, I was a professional con artist for many years, and I actually perpetrated these scams on the American public and made multi-millions of dollars doing this. I eventually got caught. I went to federal prison for four years. But while I was there, I decided to turn my life around to rehabilitate myself. I'm a published author. I do law enforcement training videos for the FBI, the CIA, the US Secret Service. I appear on national TV news magazine shows as an expert on fraud, and I'm really doing my share to help the American people. So, so you're dropping a dime on all your old cohorts and friends, <laughs> letting them know, baby, no more because I got your number. Is that what it is? That's right. And if you do the crime when Brett Champion's here, you're going to do the time. All righty then. <laughs> it seems as though a lot of uh, people get scammed. Why is that? Why are people so easy to be scammed? Why is that? Joy, we are all dreamers, and we all want to get that something for nothing. Yeah. It's like yeah. the free lunch. We all think we're going to win that contest, we're going to get the that The lottery prize. And, and the gambling casinos, that's the biggest scam going. Mm -hmm. Absolutely Because the right. odds are against you. The odds are against you, and everybody wants to get that something for nothing. They want to win that prize. They just want to be a superhero. Give me these top three scams that we have um, uh, to keep from getting ripped off. I should, what are the top three scams that are out there? I know the first one is newspaper magazine ads, right? Newspaper magazine ads are one of the biggest scams out there now today because you see an ad in the paper promising you something that's just so extravagant and so outrageous and you're not going to get it. I mean, let me tell you, this is a scam I personally perpetrated several years ago. I put an ad in a major newspaper advertising a solar-powered clothes dryer for your home for only $49.95. A revolutionary method of drying I know what your this clothes one is. using only the power of the sun. And but it had to you... be out on the lawn, right? No, it worked. Anywhere. And Where's all the, sun coming the from? scam is because the solar powered clothes dryer was only a clothesline. Oh, that's cute. Well, that's cute, Brett. The thing is, it wasn't an outright fraud, but it was deception, and it was a good example of getting something that you're not thinking you're going to You know what? Get. I can't stand these people who call me up in the middle of dinner. I'll kill these people. <laughs> and they say, they go, oh, is this Joan? Yes. Is this Joan Bainhart? You know, and then you know it's not somebody you're related those to. Those are those telemarketing people. Yeah. You go like this. What do you do? Hang up the phone. Uh-huh. And you know what? With the telemarketing people, once you tell them that you don't have any money, they're not going to want to talk to you anymore anyway. So, what, so you should just say, I don't have any money. Goodbye. Hey, it's Joy. I just filed bankruptcy. Don't call me anymore. Goodbye. Click. <laughs> they definitely like, this is especially for the older people out there because they get scammed more than anyone. A lot of senior citizens at home that are just sitting there picking up the phone lonely. Don't send these people your money, these crazy little ministers and everything they on the television in the middle of the night sending your money. Now, let's take a look at how unbelievably, unbelievably willing these people were to give Brett everything we asked for. He never said he was with The View. He just said he was a producer on the show. It could have been any show, one of the ones down the street, anybody's show. That's it. You're not going to believe this, baby. I found out about it and laughed like a fool. Take a look. I'm one of the producers of the show. And today, you are all very, very lucky, because on the show today, we're going to have a segment on credit card repair. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick one lucky person from this studio audience we're going to take your credit card, we're going to wipe out all of the debt from your card, and give you a $50,000 line of credit that you never have to pay back. Are, are you guys excited about that? Okay, take your credit card. Did you place it in the envelope yet? 
Okay, take your credit card and place it in the envelope. We will get it back, don't worry. Because this man did not give his credit card, all these people have a better chance of winning. Okay? That's right, I hope they're skeptical too. We got your credit card, we have all your personal information, credit card number, social security number, name, and we will collect this. And you've got a very good chance of winning $50,000. Hey, I've got so many credit cards here, I don't know what to do. I think I'll leave and go shopping. Yeah, we'll be back in one moment. One. Last credit card. Okay, I got I to gotta take this credit card and run right now. We have got hundreds of credit cards, about a million dollars worth of spending that we could do if we wanted to with these people's credit cards. We have their IDs. We have their driver's license numbers, social security numbers. We have enough information that a con artist could destroy these people's lives. I cannot believe this. And listen, when we come back, we're going to meet our victims who all said they would never fall for a scam. Yeah, right. Then they're going to let you in on what they had to learn the hard way. You don't want to miss this because we want to talk to these folks, don't we? We'll be right back. Stay there. Reform con man Brett Champion. Let's go straight to joy and meet the people that couldn't resist entering Brett's bogus contest. Girlfriend, we're going to be supportive of you because we feel your pain. <laughs> go ahead, Joy. Well, this is Kim, and I'd like to know, Kim, what was going through your mind when he took your card from you? Well, first of all, when I just saw the tape of it, it was just, it seemed totally different yesterday. I never thought of myself as someone who was easily scammed at all. I thought it happened to tourists and older people, but he was so believable. He was shaking everyone's hand and, oh, you know, being so charismatic and... What really? would you do? Would you, what would you, you do with the money? Yeah. You know, oh, I think you're going to win. You have a better chance of winning. Kim, did just, you see just him so come? Unbelievable. Did you see him come out of our door, or did just, just no, a man came he, off the street? I didn't even notice. I was just standing there, and I just he made announcements to the whole line. I didn't pay any attention. She was trusting <laughs> the fact that she was at a television show, and too. he was saying what I wanted to hear. He was going to take my debt away and give me fifty thousand dollars. So. Joy, do you have anybody else out there? Yes, we have Gail. Thanks, this, this, Kim. This lady also, thank you, darling. This lady also did it, Gail. I, I'm just horrified seeing myself on that tape. It, I'm just so embarrassed, humiliated. I, it, everybody would have done that yesterday, believe me, I, it, if you had been there. So, But the social um, security number, I'm so that's careful. really dumb. I'm so careful when I put my wallet away. I know. The social security number, I Gail. Know. The credit card that most of these credit I, card companies will, will say so you're not careful. liable. I but put my wallet away carefully yeah. with nobody around me yeah, in do, my bag. Do you find I, him to be look that trustworthy? He's a federal con. He was a he was a very good actor yesterday, <laughs> and my husband said, How can I make you more cynical? And I hope I help some other people. Watch that just... you, baby. You'll be cynical in a heartbeat. <laughs> Brad, tell us what could you have done? with the information out, just so we're clear. You had actual physical credit cards, you had social security numbers of some people, driver's license numbers of some people, names and addresses. That's right, what I could have done is I could have taken your credit card numbers and gone on one hell of a shopping spree and maxed out all of your cards before the show was even finished being taped. How could you do that? What kind of time do you have? <laughs> There's a shopping center just two blocks away, Joy. I got plenty of time. And what would you buy, I'd like to know? Mm -hmm. Whatever a I wanted car, to. car, big things you would buy. The bottom line is somebody can take your credit cards, get a phony birth certificate, get ID in your name, and start using all of your credit cards permanently. Yeah, yeah. Kim, I'd like to ask you one more question. When you were walking away, what were you thinking? When he was walking away, I mean, and you saw him, like, leaving the premises. Stand up, hon. Okay, we can't see sorry. you. What were you thinking? Well, you know, it's funny now that I think about it. I actually made a joke. I said he's probably going shopping with our credit cards, but I was just kidding at the time. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Down here, Joy said that they would have done the same thing, so everybody's feeling their pain. How many people in here would have, given the information you had, give me your hand claps, would have given your credit cards up? Tell the truth now. Oh, you guys down here that's not clapping are lying. You know, you know what? None of the men are clapping, I noticed. It's Do we have women. a man out there? Is there a man out there who thinks that, you know, women are more gullible? Come on, guys. I see. No. Is there a man here who would have given up his credit card? Is there one? No. It's They're the lying. women. Why? Why? 
Do the women say yes? $50,000 worth of shopping spree. Of course the women are going to say yes. <laughs> what kind of question is that? But So what I'm a little curious about is you walked away and walked down the street. You didn't even walk back in the building. I had no identification. The form that they filled out had absolutely no company name, no name on it whatsoever. I could have taken their identity. The bottom line here, folks, is you never give your credit card number. You never give this kind of information to anybody for any reason, no matter what, because they could use that information and completely destroy you with it. Boy, are we learning some stuff today out there. Well, we'll teach people more and more about the, the credit card scams and the telemarketers, et cetera, et cetera. And you know what? There is no free lunch. Let me. Trust me on that no one. No free lunch. And no show is going to give you $50,000, least of all the view. So <laughs> let me just give you that right now. Brett, thank you very much for coming to visit with us. That was a nice All right, now, guess what's coming up next? Do you ever wish that a